If you're looking for an entry level family bunk unit with a bunk room that is modifiable, it's not just a couple of twin bunks set up here and there, and you want something that's gonna be 37 feet long, roughly 8,300 pounds dry, entry level, but packed full of features you're gonna find in mid and higher level, you're gonna love the East to West Silver Lake 29 KBH. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, standing in the back of the East to West Silver Lake 29 KBH, which you can only get at Gander RV and Outdoors and Camping World. I like how this one, not only being new for 2021, they have redesigned the bunk room, giving you something that's way more functional for entertaining and for sleeping. Not to mention, you have the, oh, crap, is, is my wife looking for me? Escape door, right there. Or the doggy door, because bunk rooms are great for the four-legged, family members, the kids, the ladies weekend getaways, the wine trips, the guys hunting trip, the fishing trip, whatever it may be. Bunk houses are great for that because of the space that you get. Now, for entertaining, check out the bench seat that we have right here where all of my 30 by 72 single bunks are strut supported. When I wanna bring them down, I just bring them down. And you got the plush three inch thick mattress up here. You got dual USB charging ports, I believe on both sides. Let me pull this down and see. Boom, oh, I brought this. This one needs to come down first before doing this one. Uh, yep, dual USB charging 110. So you got a bunk here on the campsite, bunk here on the off wall, the rear wall, put that back up. You got a little storage shelf right here. You got a TV mount with your cable and your 110, plus some storage. And you'll notice that their 30,000 BTU furnace, everything that they do ducted, is ducted inside the cabinetry to, so that you don't have soft spots in the flooring. Not to mention that you got a 15,000 BTU AC on this one with the quick cool dump. But what's cool about having the Saturday nights all right for fight 10, Saturday nights all right, all right, all right, the piano bench, as I like to call it. This folds down, and now you have yourself a fold-down queen-size bed. Well, if I don't break everything doing it, you get the picture. There's a queen-size foldable mattress right there, and then you have the bunks that can come down. That bunk can come down and now you have a multiple sleeping arrangement or you could just do the two bunks or just the queen bed. Right here, the camp queen bed. Cause look at this plush, thick foam top mattress that comes with that. That's extremely nice. When it's time to separate the space, keep all the kids or the family members or friends happy and quiet, you got the pocket door right there leading us into the living area, which it's really opened up by the super slide right here. I like how they put multiple mushroom lights on there too. Some of the largest windows you're gonna find in class. Panoramic, got the privacy shades, solid wood balances. The other thing with east to west that they do with their dinettes is if you notice, this dinette is much bigger than most dinettes that you get in RVs. This is a, you can easily fit four plus people, five, maybe even six people right here. This reduces down into a sleeper, can fit two people on this one. It's almost a full size bed, but plush, comfortable. I can enjoy reconnecting with the family. I don't have to worry about hitting my head on the five foot, eight inch high slides when I come out because of how far out the booth dinette is. Plus I got storage underneath with the drawers right here, which are on ball bearing drives, full extension with the locking latches there. I got me a pantry door right here. Good closet space, good storage space. I got the Dometic seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo here. I like how they added the wood paneling to continue the decor all the way throughout. Fridge freezer combo, runs on both gas and electric. Then right over here on the campsite, I got my L-shaped kitchen. The pressed solid or the pressed surface countertops with the rounded edges, the stainless steel undermounted Pharma style sink with the high rise residential sprayer faucet. For entry level, that is a nice feature. I like having the sprayer faucets in there. I got my three burner cooktop right here, the suburban 16 inch oven right there, 
Well, a circuit breaker box there, Magic Chef flush mounted microwave, shaker style cabinet, solid wood construction all the way around, plus a large window over here on the campsite so I can check on the kids, check on the family members, watch what's going on over there. GFCI outlet as well, plus solid wood pull out cabinetry. Now, when you need more space, um, you got the uh, sleeping space that is. You got the little jackknife sofa. I like these because they are plush and comfortable and this fabric uh, doesn't stick and make you sweaty as the uh, leatherette does. Dual USB charging ports there in the middle too so I can charge my phone. Corner mounted entertainment center. Got the Furion TV on the swivel. Got the little component shelf there plus the component storage and my Furion AM FM command center with dual zone. Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, and my Inno Flame fireplace. Roughly 4,700 BTUs of heat, has multiple flame settings, multiple light settings, does a really good job, I like to say, of knocking the chill off the air, because with 30,000 BTU furnace, 15K BTU AC, 4,700, 47, uh, BTUs on the fireplace. If you got people staying in just here, that's enough to keep them warm at night. Plus it's electric. Solid wood door here leading me into the bathroom. High rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, neo angled shower with the surround and the brush nickel handle fixtures. That's a nice little upgrade for entry level. I'm used to the plastic. So having that there is very nice. Got the large inlay with the skylight, the vent and the fan right here. Single vanity with the bowl, brush nickel continuing there, as well as my mirrored medicine cabinets with a little bit of raised lips in there as well. Easy to clean, slip resistant linoleum flooring on these. Plus East to West does a good job with their manufacturing. They do a sustainable manufacturing process to kind of reduce and reuse. So it allows them to give you a few upgraded features you won't find in entry level, but pass along savings as well. I got some storage over here with the pullout drawers and the wards. Plus I got side opening doors from our storage up top. I like this because I don't need the strut supporting and it's not the lift up. I got cubby storage on both sides, dual USB and 110 on both sides. And since it is east to west Silver Lake, you're getting a 72 by 80 king size bed inside all east to west Silver Lake. Strut supported storage underneath as well. Another nice feature, having some strut supporting. I add to that my little cable hookup and my TV over here, which I just don't like having the TV across. I like to have it here, but we got the big pocket door over here, so I understand. And then last but not least, the hideaway, AKA ward storage. Is she still looking for me? I was supposed to mow the lawn today, but I told her, I was like, baby, look, we got, a, we got so many RVs at Gander RV and Outdoors and a Camper World coming. I mean, we got, you know, so many hitting the lots. We, we got to tell people about the new ones that are coming on. So I'll get to mowing the lawn when I get back, but she's on a war path right now because it's probably been about a month and a half since I mowed the grass. And over here by the entryway, you got your command panel. You got your water heater and your water pump. Run your slide out, the awning, the lights, the awning lights. And then of course, check the gray tanks, the fresh, the batteries as well as your black tanks. Just a little info panel to help you figure out what's going on with this 29 kbh. Love the bunk room. Love the functionality, love the flow. For a family that's looking to dip their toe into the RV water, get out of the tent, and needs to sleep a lot of people, this 29 kbh is a win. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside, the 2021 East to West Silver Lake 29 kbh. You'll notice right away, you got that seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond plated rock guard, the NXG next generation frame, extra wide and one piece going all the way across, giving you some good support when you have this coach on top of it. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack with the LED light there as well. We come around to the campsite and you'll notice the pass-through storage is finished off. You do have the LED lights on both the camp and the off-camp side. I got the little plastic clip helping me keep my doors safe and secure. I wish we did have covered hinges. One of the few things I changed. 10 amp quick connect for the solar panel so I can trickle charge my battery if I want to. We got our front stabilizer jack right there. Plus this is an enclosed underbelly. You'll notice the paneling there. Got the 15 foot awning with the LED light strip, black tank flush located here on the campsite. 
My external Furion marine grade speakers giving me some outside entertainment here under the awning. Plus, we've got the sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around there, too. I believe that's 80%, which really helps keep the coach, you know, cool during those hot summer months. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point with the grab handle here. And because it is a bunk, uh, to me, I think external kitchens is a must when it comes to bunk houses. You got what I like to call the little pup kitchen here. You got the door, you got your mini fridge, the little dorm style fridge, and the suburban flat top, which... Um, I got to tell you, I, I used to be against these, but now I'm a big fan of because it opens up breakfast and lunch, not only just grilling the dogs and the burgers, you can do the eggs, the pancake, the whole nine. Slide that away. If you say, well, Chris, I still want to do my grilling. Well, there you go. Got your LP Quick Connect right there. Got to have it. You got the steel rims here with the Dexter Easy Lube axles on this tandem. You got the aluminum, or excuse me, the uh, nitro filled tires there. Come in here, you got a low point drain located right there. Rear stabilizer jack, four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. Here's the back of the bunk room that had that window along the back wall above that one bunk. You'll see that we got a backup camera mounted there. The arch ceilings with the rubber nozzles, keeping the rain and the water off. Got my 50 amp plug right here the escape hatch or the load-in hatch for the kids. If they wanna go just kinda of hang out outside, stay a little bit longer while you guys go in and go to bed, this is a great way for them to get up and in and out or to load the dogs in as well. I'm a fan of these. I started seeing these a few years ago and thought, oh, that's, that's actually a lot better way, especially if you have dogs that uh, you know have a little bit of issues getting into the, the RV. It's just nice to have. Underneath here, you'll see our main terminations. Now this one, you have a 40 gallon fresh tank, 60 gallon gray and 30 gallon black tank. And you'll notice the controls right there for them. Our external command center right here, fresh water fill right here, city water connection, cable and satellite plus 110, the porthole and the sprayer nozzle. You actually have two sprayer nozzles. You got one on the other side too, in that little kitchen. It was just on the inside, tough to see, but you got the porthole right here. So if you do need to keep your connection safe and secure, they are behind the lockable other side of your pass-through storage. The most important part though of any RV is going to be this right here, the info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this one weigh? Now dry weight, you're looking at roughly 8,300 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 99.90. Now being 37 feet long, can sleep seven plus comfortably uh, with features and amenities. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camp and and Gander and you say, hey, well, you know, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I'm going to camp. Um, please tell me if this is the one that's right for me. Before an entry level bunkhouse RV with a redesigned bunk room, I got to tell you, this 29 KBH is one that I would put at the top of the list, especially if I'm looking for my first family travel trailer in those dimensions, in those styles, the whole nine. The upgraded features and amenities are great. Just a nice little icing on the cake. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the 29 KBH. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Until then, please come check out an RV because they're fun.